Before we begin, you will need your tray and a screwdriver. Do not use a drill or a powered screwdriver. Because parents are often scared of new things, it is good to have them helping you so they know there's nothing to be scared of, everything to be excited about, and as they see you interact with it, they will want to interact with their new Search Perch Parrot Play Stand. Now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure you get the screws on the side of your tray. They are sometimes a little bit hidden, so be sure you take these off and put them to the side so you don't lose them. Now go ahead and lay your tray out so you can see the markings on the bottom. You'll see some alphabet, you'll see some numbers, and you'll see some shapes. These are all really important when you're putting it together. At this point, some of you already have your tray put together. Good for you, you are masters. Now some of you are watching this video, you think you have an idea of how to put it together, but you want to make sure, so you're gonna watch this video to the end before you get started. Others of you are totally lost. That's okay. I'm here for you. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. But I think this video will give you everything you need to know to master putting the tray together. Now some of you may also choose to have a friend or a handyman put it together for you. First pick up the piece marked with the A. Insert four screws, one in each hole and be sure not to force them through, but just slide them until they peek out naturally. Now pick up the tray panel marked with a B. Match the shape in the corner to the shape on the tray panel A. You will notice two holes on the side of B, and they will match the screws on tray panel A. Just line up the hole and the screws and then go ahead and tighten the screws into the tray. Repeat this process for panel C. Now it is time to insert the baseboards. Starting with baseboard one, slide the baseboards from the top to the bottom. Make sure you might have to wiggle it around to get it to fit all the way through. For the small and medium trays, there will be three baseboards. Large trays have five. For large trays, we suggest having a friend help you. Your friend can hold the panels in place while you slide the baseboards between them. If you do not have a friend around, you can also use a couch, a wall, or any other stable surface to gently prop the tray panels while you complete assembly. Now it is time for the last step. Pick up the panel marked with the D. Insert the screws as you did in panel A. Again. Do not force the screws in, but slide them in until they naturally stop. Match the screws to the corresponding holes in the panels and tighten the screws. Now you are finished and ready to add your search perch trunk. 